Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 14 of the Lico June Daily Challenge. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, let me know what you did on this con uh, on this problem and how do you do. Uh, also, join the Discord if you want to just hang out and chat. Uh, anyway, cheapest flights within K stops. There are N cities connected by M flights. Each flight starts from city U and arrives at V with a price of W. Now, given that all the cities and flights together with starting city source and destination destination your task is to find the cheapest price from source to destination with up to k stops if there's no such well i'll put negative one okay um yeah it seems like there's some uh the thing that i would do is just find the min cost with a breath first search um the idea is that um maybe daistra eh, maybe daistra is fine too actually yeah but the idea is that um instead of having a graph with n edges we have a graph of n or sorry n nodes or n cities uh we have a graph of n times k cities or n times k nodes where each new node is a combination of n and the k stops uh and from that we can just do a uh use Dijkstra's algorithm or something like that uh basically a shortest path from uh from zero uh is it from zero uh, I guess the, they give the source, but from source with zero stops used to destination with less than k stops, uh, or less than or equal to. Um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, how would I want to do this? Uh, let's just let's just create an adjacency list. Um, I do it this way, but feel free to do it your own way, clearly. Um, okay. So now for U, V, W in flights, um, there's, is this a directed graph? I guess so. Okay. So that means U. Is a pen of V, W. Uh, okay. Okay. And now we just have to do the dice drill, which is from, okay, let's, um, okay, so we just start with a heap, uh, or priority queue, rather, um, and we want to push, into the party queue, uh, source, zero, and then the weight, oh, well, we actually want to put the weight first, but, uh, or the distance, which is zero, right? Yeah, okay. And let's just do scene is equal to set, and also scene is, let's add uh, the source of zero, so we don't go into it again in the future. Uh, actually, we'll just make it a dictionary. Okay, and now while uh, while party is equal to party queue is greater than zero, uh, we do stuff, and then otherwise we return negative one if we don't return early because we expect to return early. So let's get the top. Uh, let's just say. Uh, the shortest is or distance uh, node or city and k k used in this in this sense um, is equal to um, let's see oh yeah just hip q dot hip pop of p q right these are zero so far so we might have to do the signs because in um, Yeah, okay. In Python, the heap is min heap. So so we don't actually have to do anything fancy with that because that means the rate will always be smallest. Uh, let's also prioritize. Let's flip this a little bit so that we prioritize the K uh, to be lowest. So I think it doesn't really matter that much. But 
Uh, okay, now we look at each adjacent edge uh, to relax. Oh, if the city is equal to destination, then then we just return distance. Yeah, and also we've already processed this. Uh, if seen. Uh, uh, city K is uh, less than distance, then we return or oh, we continue. Otherwise, what do we do? Well, for in for each edge, so V W in. Uh, we might have to make sure that this is a tuple in adjacency list of uh, this city we go if so we want to be able to visit um, so distant plus w is going to be the new rate k plus one is the new k usage uh, and we also have to make sure that k is less than stops if k plus 1 is less than you go to stops um, and city is the new city which is v so this is our new thing um, but we want to make sure that we haven't seen it yet so if there's some um, and scene of um, v of k plus 1 is That's this plus W. Okay. Then in that case, we want to push this in. It's just this actually. And that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, I have to set scene of this thing. So you go to this dash w. Okay, let's run it real quick. Uh, system test cases. Uh, key ever one one. Oh, I have to check that if it's in scene, of course. Not in scene or this or is not in. Uh, and now I have to do a copy paste of the second example. Hmm, I have, to, I have to take a look at that. This is annoying, but that's fine. Um, two, two. Well, oh, the order of operation. Um, there we go. Sometimes I'm a little bit careless about that 200, so we have to double check that. Uh, but let's put in the other case first. Okay, hmm. That's uh, unfortunate. Oh, I, I see. Because my stops is off by one. Because uh, what I'm doing is K is not the number of stops, it's the number of edges. But if you go a direct flight, it's one edge. But, you know, but the stops is plus one, right? So that's just, eh, it's a little bit of a hack. But... Cool. Uh, yeah, let's. Let's try an impossible case first. Um, you know, always be testing. So let's see. Let's, there's no path here, so it should give us a negative one. Um, okay, let's just submit then. Do I have any more edge cases? I mean, n is less than 100, so okay, let's go. Cool, yes. Um, yeah, so this is Dijkstra's, uh, as you know, uh, the optimal implementation of Dijkstra's algorithm is uh, of v log v. Um, the way that we did it is a little bit different. We put all the edges in heap possibly. Uh, so it's v log y, which is uh, only slightly slower than v log v, but, um, but it takes a lot more space. Uh, in fact, 
the heap may contain the entire thing. And also in this case, the V is actually a little bit, it's not N. V in this case is N times K because we construct uh, another graph that is similar. Um, so in so in total, so let's just say we have all V log E is our complexity. But in this case, our V is equal to N times K and our E is equal to, well, um, I guess in this case, it is actually V squared uh, up to, um, eh, it's not V squared precisely because each of these uh, N times K nodes can only connect with the previous uh, K minus one. So, so it is, um, let's see, it's N times N times K. Um, so anyway, but it shouldn't matter that much. So now our algorithm is n times k log n squared k, which, as you know, you can take the two out anyway because it's log. So it's n times k log n times k. Uh, and in terms of space, um, well, this would be n times k at most So because that's the number of vertexes. So, uh, so yeah, that'll be that. Um, and a little bit more for ye, so maybe a little bit more. But yeah, cool. Uh, as this is the shortest path uh, algorithm, this is a pretty standard shortest path algorithm uh, or problem. So definitely study it. Um, I've seen it a couple of times. And this technique of um, creating a, a dual graph where, where you map the number of stops or some other dimension comes in, into play sometimes uh, in both well, this shortest path problem, but also dynamic programming problems. Uh, so definitely study that up. Uh, competitive programming, this is pretty straightforward. Maybe even be too easy for competitive programming. But uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's pretty straightforward problem. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know how you did. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.